In this video, I want to share a few things. So yesterday morning, my lady sent me a message through my phone of a young Homer Simpson talking about math. If you're not looking at the screen, it's Homer Simpson talking and he says, the only math you need is you plus me equals forever. That was sweet to me because my lady, she loves me, but she doesn't seem to appreciate a lot of the numerology and gematria sinks they tell her about, and she's not into the numbers. So it was cool that she sent that to me. So I got the message yesterday. I told her I loved it. And I should point out the date was September 23rd because that will be relevant later. I'll probably mention why at the end of the video. But I told her I loved the, the thing she sent me. And, and I told her that the Simpsons show is known to hide some real intelligence among the silly jokes. And they tell a lot of math jokes. So I wanted to find a good example to show her. And I did a search. The first thing that I came to was a video of a man named Simon Singh. He wrote a book called The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets. So I've never read this book, but I wanted to talk about the short video I saw and expand a bit on Simon Singh's revelations about a particular episode of The Simpsons. I'll leave links in the description box. So let me give a quick summary before I offer some further observations. Simon Singh starts his video off introducing himself saying that he wrote this book about the simpsons he says that the writers of the simpsons a lot of them are mathematicians but anyway he talks about this episode called marge and homer turn a couple play it, like i said he wrote an entire book but the video i saw was only a few minutes long and it talked about this one particular episode marge and homer turn a couple play in the episode, the characters are at a baseball game, and at the stadium, there's a jumbo vision screen, which displayed a sort of trivia question. The character standing in the screen with the numbers is a pop star named Tabitha Vix. She posed the question, how many people were in attendance at this game? You can see that I did a screenshot of that clip of that show, bottom right hand of the screen you're watching now, if you're watching. That's Tabitha Vix with those numbers. And she asked how many people were in attendance. Simon Singh points out that each of the numbers on the screen are very special to mathematicians. Option A is a special kind of prime number. So to keep this video short, I'm not going to elaborate on that much. Option B is actually why I decided to cover this. Option B is something called a perfect number. It's also a triangular number, but I'll get back to that. Option C is a so-called narcissistic number. And option D, well, that might be for the Gematria decoders. But anyway, be sure to leave relevant links down below in the description box. But let's just talk about option B. The number 8128, or 8,128. For what it's worth, that's considered the fourth perfect number and uh, real quick wikipedia explains a perfect number like this in number theory a perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisors excluding the number itself so to make it easy we'll just use the first perfect number the first perfect number is six the divisors of 6, excluding 6 itself, are 1, 2, and 3. 1 divides into 6. 2 divides into 6. 3 divides into 6. We know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. So, again, Wikipedia says a perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisors, excluding the number itself. So those divisors, again, 1, 2, and 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3. 6. We know that 6, just by that example, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6 is a triangular number. But not every triangular number is a perfect number. I want to make that clear, that not every triangular number is a perfect number. But I will say this. I've memorized four perfect numbers. They get pretty large after the fourth. But the four that I know of 
are all triangular numbers. But we could look at option B in the Simpsons episode. And um, 8,128. All the divisors, if you exclude the number itself, all the divisors sum to 8,100. 28 and if you add the if you add the number itself that's actually really an interesting sum as well but i'm gonna talk about that probably in the description box but 8128 that'd be the 127th triangular number it just so happens that the name of the author in the video i saw yesterday simon singh with the H at the end. Simon Singh equals 127 using the English ordinal Gematria cipher. You can see at the top left I have a couple of Gematria examples. Also note that Tabitha Vix, that name equals 127. You got to use the Fibonacci based cipher, but Tabitha Vix equals 127. And that's appropriate because Tabitha Vix is completely entwined with this example. Remember, down the bottom of the screen, she is literally in the screen with those numbers. She posed the question, how many were in attendance? Simon Singh is the per person teaching about it. So both of those names have a gematria value of 127. And again, 127th triangular number is that perfect number, 8,128. So I just wanted to share how the gematria aspect ties into it. And always remember that time is key as well. Not to stray too far from the point, but I imagine that the original air dates of that particular episode of The Simpsons might be important. So again, the episode is called Marge and Homer Turn a Couple Play. If we use that original air date as a starting point, maybe go backwards 8,128 days, that might be of interest. Likewise, if we use that original air date, but instead go forwards 8,128 days, that might be of interest. But anyway, let me end the video with this. Remember that 8,128 is a triangular number. It's the 127th triangular number. Recall from the beginning of this video you're watching where I said that the love of my life sent me a message inspiring this video. I got our message yesterday which just so happens to have been a span i just found this out today a span of 127 days before the date january 27th which can appear as 127 so to recap i got the message yesterday that inspired me to do this video about 127 and the 127th triangular yesterday was a span of 127 days before the date 127 and what's funny is that told my lady that I loved what she sent me because of the math. And then this morning, she sent me this. So if you're looking at the screen, it says an equation, but then the person erases the top half of the equation, revealing the words, I love you. So that's very sweet, right? But very visible is the number 100. 28, which is obviously one off from the 127 I was looking at yesterday. Oh, I'm going to point this out that my lady's not into the numbers. Okay, I told her that The Simpsons shows math and stuff, but I did not show her this one about the 8,128 or the 127th triangle. I didn't talk about any of that stuff. She will not listen to that, which is fine. But the 128 is obviously one off from the 127 and there's something to be said about when you're one off from the exact value you may have heard of this method called the rule of Colel. so there's always more and um you know we'll save the rule of Colel stuff for another video but just wanted to say thank you for watching if you made it this far well, i guess we'll talk more in the comments section